The humble potato. It made Prince Edward Island. First introduced here in 1758, the island soon became known as an excellent potato growing area. But the PEI Spud didn't earn its reputation as the famous PEI potato until the railway came and the railway ferry the SS Prince Edward Island in 1917. That gave farmers a way to ship their potatoes to markets all over the world. By the 1920s, the PEI potato industry had become world famous. And although potatoes were grown all over PEI, West Prince became known as one of the island's most fertile growing areas. On Prince Edward Island, healthy potato fields in blossom mean prosperity for islanders. And for the town of O'Leary, they mean so much more. Its rich potato growing history has made it the home of the Canadian Potato Museum. And for the past 45 years, it's been home of the O'Leary Potato Blossom Festival. And here in O'Leary, they take the potato seriously. Eric Phillips is chair of the festival. It's one of our main industries. 90% uh, of our potatoes grown are for processing. This area is known for growing potatoes. And that's reason enough to have a party, a big party. Volunteers make up to 300 meals for the event's main feature, the Farmer's Banquet. The food is prepared in the cuisine machine, and it's all Atlantic. Most of it is local. Darren McKinnon is general manager of the O'Leary Co-op, and he's turned chef for this meal. Tonight we're feeding at least 250 people at this event. So it's, uh, it's substantial. But he's not the only cook in the kitchen. Uh, volunteers, uh, it's a strictly volunteer. We have, uh, you know, we have a full complement from army chefs to uh, regular chefs to camp chefs to uh, local, local housewives. <laughs> we, have, we have a full complement in here working. This isn't just your ordinary meal. Each table represents a potato variety. But before dinner, there's a lot of socializing to be done, especially if you're home from Toronto. <laughs> it's part of being an islander, you know? It's where you see everyone, and it's wonderful. Just wonderful. And you know, uh, old age has just made of memories, and that's what I have, a ton of memories, and I love it. And while people wait for those barbecues to finish, they can take in a quilt show, an amazing sight to see. Lillian McLean is with the Northern Lights Quilt Guild in O'Leary. She says quilting is one of their traditions handed down on PEI. My grandmother was an expert quilter and they would have started, it was very functional, it was very necessary. They would take flower bags, bleach them, dye them, cut them up. It was a lot of the work was done by hand really. Even the piecing was done by hand. And for sure, all the quilting was done by hand. They also used old potato bags to make those quilts. Now quilting is done as a work of art, and quilters from all over take part in the show and even make some sales. Back at the barbecue, things are running hot and heavy. Of course, one of the main features, the potato. Even the contestants for the Miss Potato Blossom pageant throw in their hands to volunteer. Adrienne MacDonald has been involved in the festival since its inception. She has overseen many volunteers. I think they love their community. They like to see it get ahead. They like to welcome people to the community. We do have a nice village and that we're proud of it. And we're proud of this festival for going for 45 years. And by the look of this meal and the crowd this evening, the potato really is king in the town of O'Leary. <laughs>